Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on Earth, be the greatest fight of all time. And two big dogs in this fight game. We have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA Unified World Champ. We have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champ, the billion dollar man. We all know what he did in the sport. And then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the three division world champ. You know, he's arguably the hottest young star in the game and, and arguably the face of boxing. But we all know Javante Tank Davis has a relationship with Floyd Money Mayweather. Javante Tank Davis has a relationship with Earl the True Spence Jr. Now, we all know Floyd is trying to, you know, keep the relationship tight with Tank. We know Tank ended up leaving um, Mayweather Promotions, you know, doing his own thing. But, you know, Floyd's trying to find a way to stick around. Then we know Earl and, and Tank, they had that brotherly bond. But I want Tank to tell Floyd to stop hating on EJ to build up Terrence Crawford. You understand? I want Tank to let Floyd know that if you go ride with the PBC, PBC side, Ride with the home team all the way. All the way, Floyd. You can like Bud. You can want to sign Bud to Mayweather Promotions. But if you on this side, you on this side. And if not, then you on this side and you're hating on EJ because you want to sign Terrence Bud Crawford. Quit hating on my brother because he knocking Bud ass out. Now, when it come to Floyd, oh, this is my dog right here. He's, like I say, he's my goat. But he's a selfish, selfish son of a gun, bro. You understand? And when he wants something, he wants it. You understand? He wanted Earl Spence. He couldn't get it. Pissed him off. Wanted Agent Bronner. Couldn't get him. Pissed him off. Wanted Mikey Garcia. Couldn't get him. Pissed him off. And now he wants Terrence Bud Crawford. You know? And I can't say that he can't get Terrence Bud Crawford because it ain't over yet. But we all know that he was in Bud Earl giving him little pointers and tips and tricks and shit like that. And y'all know how Money Brown feel about this situation when it comes to Earl Spencer turns Bud Crawford and Floyd Money Mayweather. I feel like Floyd Money Mayweather wants Earl Spence to lose. And he'll do what he got to do to help Bud out, you know what I'm saying, to be, to be victorious and arguably the biggest fight, you know what I'm saying, of the decade. Now, EJ don't give a fuck about none of that. You understand? Earl Spence is an animal, a savage. He got a, the, the arguably the best mental in boxing. Earl Spence has the best mental in boxing. You feel me? He has the best mental in boxing, bro. When it comes to blocking things out, not caring about nothing, focusing on one thing, on the goal at task, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing going to stop him from going for what he want. He don't give a fuck about nobody when it comes to that situation. You feel me? You can just tell about his mentality inside the ring, bro. He don't take no for an answer, you know? So Earl don't give a damn about who you got winning, who you picking. Just let, just make sure you make it clear what side you on so he can know. And when it's that, then it's that. You feel me? It's that. You chose your side, you stay on that side. Ain't no coming back. You know what I mean? Ain't no coming back, bro. So when I'm looking at EJ, he know how to block out all the mess. He know how to block out all the noise. But when it comes to Tank, you know, Tank, Tank is solid, bro. Tank is loyal. Tank is solid and Tank is loyal. Tank will let you know he got Earl beating Bud, right? That's his brother. And it's straight like that. Like Shakur Stevenson, he really got Bud beating Earl, but he don't want to say it because he feel like he cool with Earl too. You know what I mean? But we all know you more cool with Bud. We all know Bud is like your big brother. You train with Bo Mack and them over there and shit like that. So, you know, it, it's understandable. It's understandable, but choose your side and stay there, cuz. You know what I mean? Choose your side. But when it come to Floyd, it's like Floyd's supposed to be big bro to both Bud and Earl. You're supposed to have your ass in the middle, right? Even if you want to sign Terrence Bud Crawford, you're supposed to have your ass in the middle. Saying it's a hell of a fight for both. I want both of them to get as much money as they could. I'm there to support both. You shouldn't have a dog in the race, even if you want to sign Bud. I see if Bud was up under Mayweather promotion, that's a different situation. I understand. That's your fighter. But he's not under Mayweather promotion right now. You know, and by you saying he remind you of you, y'all got to understand, words is everything. Words are everything, bro. When you say, oh, he remind me of me and I want to sign him, I feel like I can take him um, further than where he's at right now. We know how to build this. We know how to build that. Just look at Tank. Then you don't want him to get knocked off because you want him to keep his O. Because if you lose, you probably feel like, oh, damn, man. 
um, it'd be a lot harder to get you where I want to get you. But if you're still undefeated and you beat Earl Spence, then Lord knows Floyd Mayweather go talk all the shit in the world for you. You know what I mean? And Tank know that. Tank know that more than um, better than anybody. You know what I'm saying? So I just want Tank to put it out there, bro. Listen, man. Floyd, stay your ass out of their business. Straight up, bro. Stay out of their business, man. And this PBC over here, like I told my dog, man, if you go ride with Tank, you got to ride with Earl. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say, fam. If you're riding with Tank, you got to ride with Earl. Squeeze with another one. You understand? Well, you ain't got to ride with Earl. I'm just talking shit on that part. But when it comes to Tank, bro, you know he riding with Earl 120%, fam. 120. You know what I mean? And he got a relationship with Floyd. And, um, you know, Floyd got to get off the bullshit, man. He got to get off the bullshit. And I feel like if it come from Tank Mouth and all the other big dogs' mouth, it'll make him stand his ass down. Because I'm telling y'all right now, he's going to be reaching out to Turns, Bud Crawford, giving pointers, giving tips, trying to see what he's looking like in training camp, how he holding up, how he feeling, what sparring pointers he bringing in, things he can work on, don't do this, don't do that. You got to be careful. I was in the ring with Earl Spence. He got a good this. He got a good that. But when I got off on him, I caught him here. I caught him there. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on now, bro. Don't be out here hating and trying to give pointers and shit. Stay your ass on the sideline and be big bro if that's what you're going to be. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that the little pointers and tips go help Bud win. Because EJ make adjustments. And he got, like I say, he got Derrick James to train the other year. And they going in there to do their thing. And then, you know, Earl got a hell of a stable over there of A-level fighters to where he can spar with to get ready for the fight, you know? So, you know, adjustments go be made inside the ring. And like I said, Earl Spence don't take no for an answer. He's relentless. The determination is on another level. And then when you see this fight right here, how he just checked Stephen A. Smith ass, you can tell Earl Spence ain't playing with nobody, bro. He ain't playing with nobody, bud up there smiling. Yeah, you know, I've been wanting this fight. You know, I wanted this fight for a while now. Like, you know, he said he go go take the easy road. And he keep trying to bring that bullshit up. Nah, you know what he meant when he said the easy road. Don't try to throw little shots here and there. That's why I can't wait for this first press conference. Because EJ go get in his ass. Yeah, EJ go get in his ass, bro. To let him know. You know what I meant by that. But what you mean by when you said you was going to take the easy road. When Bomac came out and said, yeah, we take the easy road. Like, stop playing with us, bro. Stop playing. You know exactly what he meant. You all that with Bob Earn who don't want to come up out no money. You feel me? He didn't come up out no money. He didn't even make you a mini Pacquiao fight happen. Right? So Earl went for to go do go through all that shit with Bob to try to make the fight happen with you and still come up with a stalemate. When I can be over here on PBC side, we got the WBA, we got the IBF, and we got the WBC over here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got the WBO. I can get all these scraps first because, you know, we working as a home team. Right? And once I'm finished with, it, with this, I'm coming to see you. And that's exactly what Earl Spence did. A man of his word, didn't back down, ain't beat around the bush, ain't do none of that shit. Came straight to Turns Bud Crawford after he got that third scrap. I'm going to repeat that. He came straight to Turns Bud Crawford after he got that third scrap. And y'all talking about Earl Spence ain't solid and ain't trill? Come on, man. Y'all just haters out there. Y'all doing this Floyd Mayweather shit. You know what I mean? Y'all just want to see Earl Spence lose because y'all got a disdain towards the man. Y'all don't like him for whatever reason. Maybe he's just a bigger star than Turns, and y'all just hate that. His fan base is bigger, y'all just hate that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all hate his accent. Maybe y'all hate the way the boy look. You know what I mean? It's a lot of reasons why these cats be hating out here, whatever the situation is. But you can't say that Earl Spence ain't trill. You can't say that he ain't go out there and do what he said he was going to do, and I ain't giving us the biggest fight in boxing. And we got to respect that, bro. But a lot of cats ain't on that type of time. So at the end of the day, man, listen. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, quit hate. Tank, tell that boy, man, listen, we riding hard on this side for EJ. If you're on that Turnsboro Crawford side over there, take your ass over there and don't be over here A faking and A pumping like you fucking with us when you want to see the, 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 the big dog lose just so you can try to get a signing with Turnsboro Crawford and say, I told you so, I gave you pointers and tips, come fuck with me and let's go get this money. You can still sign Bud after you lose. You know what I mean? Still gonna be a big name. Still going to be a high commodity and still got big fights out there. But you ain't got to try to help him beat EJ to try to get him on your side. And I feel like that's what um, Floyd going to try to do. Just my opinion. But shouts out to Tank. Keep grinding. Keep shining. Keep putting on for Baltimore. You know, Floyd, quit hate. EJ, let's go to work.
straight like that.